This is a story. Bronny James to make an NBA decision based on team interest. I personally believe Bronny James because of the heart issue and the way LeBron's contract has been set up. I've always believed that Bronny, since he decided to go to USC instead of playing professionally with like either the G League or overseas, he was going to go two years, especially once the heart stuff happened. I thought this. Bronny, because LeBron has one more year with the Lakers, he's telling the Lakers this year and next year are my last two years. All right. Bronny, especially now with the heart issue, I'm going to say it again, is going to play one more year of college ball, do two years, maybe at a different college than USC, or he stays with the USC because he likes to be at home. And then he enters the 2025 draft. Now, the reason why I would not be surprised if he enters the 2024 draft is because how weak this draft is and how good the 2025 draft will be in comparison. That's the big if right there. That's the big if. Now, contractually, LeBron easily can become a free agent this year because of the option. There's nothing holding him back there. So that allows Bronny, even if he were to be, you know, up in the air, to know that he could have his dad play with him the whole thing is is Bronny right now it's hard to tell what he is okay when we look at the report first off it, we're hearing this from Adrian Wojnarowski that Bronny James will decide whether to enter the 2024 draft based on team interest as opposed to projected draft position or Rich Paul told ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski that quote I don't value a young player getting into the lottery as much as I do getting him on the right team in the right developmental situation end quote said Paul Paul added that the drafting Bronny James doesn't automatically mean landing Bron LeBron James a free agency quote LeBron wants Bronny to be his own man end quote added Paul as you guys know Le Bronny James is averaging five points 2.8 assists 2.4 I mean 2.8 rebounds 2.4 assists while shooting 37 percent from the field on five attempts a game 27 and a half percent from 2.5 three-pointers a game 62 percent from the free throw line three rebounds like i said and just under a steal and for me right now when you look at this okay Bronny james does show he has athleticism like he's dude the guy has enough athleticism to the jump out the gym and he does have nba ready defense the guy just from his defensive value alone if he was not lebron james's son he would get at least summer league second round consideration because his defense he really tries first off on both ends of the court as a hustle player he gives off but he's really good on his off ball defensive rotations and just understanding how to to read the game and knows how to play within a team setting and he makes reads and uses athleticism to jump the passing lanes chase down blocks and you know be a good weak side help defender along with that the guy's actually strong like he's built he's built like a running back and He's able to go out and, you know, take the punishment as an inside out guy. Obviously, he's not going to be in the post, but he basically has the physical traits you want from a defensive player. Sadly, a lot of those defensive, those physical traits that he shows on the defensive side do not translate offensively. Offensively, he's got a good handle to the ball, but he's not like a guard. He's got good vision, but he's not a guard. All right. At the college level, obviously, his lack of length and size are apparent, especially as a passer and a scorer. He doesn't have the height or the length that his dad has or like someone like who's a big guard, LaMelo Ball and or even Lonzo Ball, like he doesn't see the, you know, he doesn't, can't see that. And nor is he as creative as a Steph Curry, as a Tyrese Maxey, as a, you name it. With that being said, Bronny's competition kind of makes him, you know, he's not setting the world on fire either. He's probably a three and D guy offensively specialist. I'm not, I don't think he can create his own shot. That's really his biggest weakness. And I think he has a few moves off the dribble, but he's not consistent and he's not even a 30% catch and shoot guy. So right now, this is a guy that was a three-star recruit. If he wasn't LeBron James's son, he would have landed at a mid-major or maybe a rebuilding high major and probably would have had to play four years of college ball but he has tools that people should like in my opinion like there's there's stuff to work with which 
I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That's my two cents on that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Mark Stein of the Stein Line is reporting that allegedly our man, Mr. LeBron James, is a guy who we've all heard was considering signing with a team that his son is going gets drafted by if he's drafted or signs with, I guess, in free agency. So the big question is, is right here what teams would that be and mark stein says that he knows of the two teams on the nba map that would believe lebron james would consider signing with them at a far less 50 than the 51.4 million dollars if Bronny james is on the roster there might be more teams and i've said it before I've said it before. I, I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron James took like a vet men to play with his son and build a championship team for his last season. Wouldn't that be crazy? I think that's the, the, the craziest part about that is like we could see that happening. That's like not very unforeseeable. And it makes you wonder to think well, what could potentially happen? Because right here, what we're really he hearing is I think the, the biggest part about this storyline is Bronny James, I think he's going to play another year. LeBron plays one more year with the Lakers, then goes to whichever team he pleases. But there's also quite the possibility that he ends up going this season because LeBron's undrafted. So he then gets on, he goes undrafted. Bronny selects where he wants to go because the draft happens before free agency. And then Bron we know where LeBron's going to go. And it could happen this offseason, depending on how the playoffs turn out. My opinion, I think it's going to be one more year. He goes to USC to actually, you know, get a full healthy season with a full off season to show his worth. And then I think that's when it'll get interesting. And we'll see if this kind of rain that we've seen the run in Los Angeles will come to the end or will the Lakers somehow snag lebron james's son Bronny james now i do believe again going to reiterate i think a team honestly i think he's either going to go to dallas miami new york knicks back to cleveland or stay in la those are the options either dallas or the knicks or the two teams that he hasn't played for that i think either income dallas because mark cuban no income tax and it's just always been talked about and then miami because you know it seems like he likes to go back to places where he's been before new york because you know we he loves the the idea of playing for historic franchises and then cleveland of course it would be crazy to have his son play there finish it where it all started go back for a third time but yeah i want to hear your guys thoughts what do you guys think of that report definitely thought it was an interesting one when we saw it and yeah i i want to hear your guys opinions shout out mark stein for this report like comment subscribe that's basically going to be it for me today guys i hope you guys do have a great day but be sure